Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you for stopping by today. So a little while back, I showcased all three of my Seiko Black Series watches, and I had to narrow it down to just one of them to keep, and I decided to keep this one right here, the Solar Tuna, the Ninja Tuna, and I'm happy that I chose this one, so I'll be getting rid of the other two here very quickly. Uh, but sometimes I get curious, you know, I like this tuna can look with that nice shroud that is on there. It's so unique, but I uh, wonder what this watch looks like without the shroud. And so that's what this video is about. Maybe you get curious about these types of things like I do. So we have two hex screws on the left side of the case and just one on the right side. I took some of my cheap Amazon tools. I uh, found a hex wrench that fits. It happens to be the SD number six. And so we're just gonna take this tool and take these screws out and see if this watch looks as good without the shroud as it does with the shroud. So before we do that, I just wanna, for our reference, uh, take a quick measurement of what the case diameter is with this shroud on. Uh, and then we'll measure it as well without the shroud. So from side to side right there, it's 46.7 millimeters with the shroud. And so once we take it off, we'll take another measurement and see what the difference is. So let's just get right into it. No frills, no thrills in this video. Just straight into the point. So there's one of the screws right there. Um, no glue of any kind, as, as I can see on that one. Uh, so let's keep going here. And I have not done this with this particular watch. This is the first time I am doing it right here. There's the second screw. And then the last one right here. Really easy to take out, no issues there at all. So there's the three screws, and I'm just gonna unscrew the crown as well, just to make it easier to pop off this plastic shroud. So I'll just pop that out, and I think we should be able just to lift it up and off. And there it is, you can see there is some dirt and dust in there on that plastic shroud and there is some dirt and dust underneath as well but that is what the watch looks like without the shroud it looks kind of naked and you can see a couple of the holes there um, I don't know if it'll affect the water resistance if you actually were to wear the watch like this with those holes uh, not having screws in them. Uh, maybe someone can answer that question for me, but let me see if I can blow this off, get some of that dust out of here. A little bit at least. So what do you think, guys? Is this something that you would wear without the shroud? I think it kind of, no doubt, has a slab, kind of hockey puck look to it. If it didn't already as a tuna can, definitely does without the shroud on it. But uh, it is a unique look, and that crown is screwed in. Um, so it's definitely pronounced there at the 4 o'clock. But guys, let me know what you think. Do you like this watch without the shroud? I don't think it looks half bad, honestly. Um, I think the lug width proportion looks to be off. Uh, because the diameter has shrunken down a little bit. And let's see what it is without the shroud on from side to side on the case. So, yeah, it's 40.8, so we lost about 7 millimeters with the shroud, if I remember correctly. So, uh, that is substantial. So you guys let me know what you think. I'm gonna throw it on my wrist and give you a side-by-side -side wrist shot of this watch without the shroud and also with the shroud.
All right, here it is side by side with and without the shroud. Uh, I like both for sure. I could see myself wearing it without the shroud, but in the end, I think I prefer it with the shroud, with that tuna can look rather than the, the hockey puck. Uh, so I don't think it looks half bad without the shroud. Uh, the only thing that looks kind of odd is having these holes in the side of the case. And that got me thinking, I wonder what it would look like if I screwed in the screws without the shroud. So let's just see if that might look a little bit better or it might just make it look even weirder. <laughs> well, let's just screw these back in and see what we think. All right, there it is with the screws back in the case and no shroud. That is an interesting look as well. Almost looks like some chronograph pushers maybe here, some other buttons going on, uh, but a unique look. You didn't know that when you bought a Seiko Tuna that you had three watches in one, but now you know you can wear it with the shroud, without the shroud and without the screws, or without the shroud and the screws like it is right here. Uh, let me take these screws out and we'll talk a little bit about the watch uh, without the shroud as we close out this video. All right, guys, well, there it is again without the shroud, without the screws. This is just a fun little quick video that I wanted to make out of curiosity. You guys, let me know, though, what you think about this piece without the shroud. Do you like it? Is it something that you would wear like it is right here with no shroud on it? I'm interested in your thoughts. I don't think it looks half bad. And, you know, maybe one day I'll wear it like this. Who knows? But, hey, if you like this video, please give it a like. That really helps out. We really appreciate it. Well, that's it for today here on The Town Watch. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.